what's up guys after having knowing about data types and uh, variables or identifiers uh, let's use them in a program as in perform various operations using variables and data types there are set of operators which are defined in C the first category of which is arithmetic operators okay you might be knowing this as you use in your school algebra plus plus minus plus for addition minus for subtraction a star is for multiplication forward slash for division and percentage sign is for is a modulus operator as in 5 mod 5 mod 3 is a uh, 2 mod means remainder when you divide 5 by 3 you get a get a remainder as 2 so that's the mod modulus up operator the rest were quite simple as pl uh, addition a plus for addition minus for subtraction star and a forward slash for division okay so uh su suppose uh, i want to add uh, two numbers so i'll write if i have a variable x and a variable y I'll write and I want to store it in a, in a variable sum so I write sum is equal to x plus y but suppose I need to add phi to a phi to the variable x and store it again in x okay just increment x by phi so one way of doing is x is equal to x plus phi uh, you can also write this as x plus is equal to 5 both the statements are equivalent here the same follows for multiplication and all the operators multiplication division okay uh, this x plus is equal to 5 is also known as compound assignment it's just a name given not much in that okay now we have increment and increment and decrement operators okay operators uh, okay how do we write them suppose we want to increment x by 1 okay so x plus plus to increment x by 1 if you want to decrement x it can be written as minus minus x or x minus minus similarly to increment x we can write x plus plus or uh, minus minus okay uh, plus plus x you might be thinking that why two different notations are used as in x plus plus or plus plus x actually there is a difference between the, uh, both the notations x plus plus x plus plus is known as pre-increment and uh, and ok wait wait sorry sorry I mean plus plus x is known as pre increment and x plus plus is post increment okay post increment fine okay so what's the difference between a pre increment and a post increment pre increment is uh, pre increment basically means that the value of x is implemented before the statement is actually uh, performed and x plus plus is the value is thrown first and then it is incremented that is post increment after the statement is evaluated then only the value of x is incremented uh, I'll give you a basic example of this uh, suppose that x is a, has a value of 3 and y is equal to x plus plus so can you think about the value of x and y after the statement is performed uh, yeah x will be equal to 4 and y will be equal to 3 if you uh, think you got it uh, got it right then good okay i'll give you an explanation for this uh the value of x is incremented only after this statement is executed so x becomes 4 after uh, in this statement the value of x remains 3 so 3 is assigned to the variable y 
सो वी गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री नाउ सपोज अगेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड यू हैव वाई इज इक्वल टू प्लस प्लस एक्स वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस केस इन प्री इंक्रीमेंटेशन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हियर इज इंक्रीमेंटेड एंड देन इट इज असाइन टू द वेरिएबल वाई सो वाई बिकम्स इक्वल टू फोर एंड एक्स इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीमेंटेड सो इट बिकम्स फोर सो दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्री इंक्रीमेंट एंड पोस्ट इंक्रीमेंट लेट्स ट्राई दिस आउट इन आर कोड let's create a new file i'll write the basic structure first hash include standard input output dot touch int main return 0 okay yeah oh so now suppose we have int any variable suppose x is equal to 7 int y is equal to suppose x plus plus that is post increment let's print the value of y here print f y is equal to percentage d comma y and a backslash and i'll put here After okay, let's see the output. Compile and run. Okay, I need to save it before. I'll give it a name operators. I'll provide this source code in your in the description link of this video, so you can uh, check out there. Yeah. So we are getting as y is equal to seven. So is that right? Okay. First, the value of x is assigned to y, and then only it will be incremented. So now let's print the value of x here. Print f. You might have get guessed what should be the value of x. It should be equal to uh eight, right? Percentage d and a backslash n. Okay. Comma x. Okay, x is equal to eight. Yeah, we are getting it. Uh, now suppose I have a sub a complex expression like z. Okay, z is equal to plus plus x plus 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 x plus x plus plus and plus again x. Okay. At this stage, we'll write the value of x. At this stage, x is equal to eight. Uh, we have seen in the output. Okay. How is this evaluated? I said that the pre increments, the pre increments are eva evaluated. Okay. First, before that, I'll give you an example of pre increment. Just comment this part. Uh, now I'll write y is equal to plus plus x. Mm -mm. What the print f? Y is equal to percentage a a backslash n comma y. So. And in the next line, I'll print x. At this stage, we had the value of x and y as x is equal to eight, and y is equal to seven, right? Uh, seven. Okay. So now it's pre-incrementation. So before. Before assigning y, uh, y, the value x will be incremented. So x will become nine, and y also will, and y will become nine. So I am expecting here y is equal to nine and x is equal to nine. 
yes so let's find it out yeah y is equal to 9 and x is equal to 9 yes we were right okay so yeah at this stage after this stage x becomes 9 uh, we saw in the output now we'll have a variable z and z is equal to suppose a complex expression like x plus plus x plus uh, plus plus x plus x plus 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 x something like that so how would this work I said the pre increment the pre increment uh, operation is performed before the evaluation of the statement so in this statement how many pre increments are there we'll count that first one pre increment two pre increment so in short two pre increments are there so x will be incremented by two so there would be something like uh, x we have first we have plus plus x uh, there are two increments so the value has become already 11 so for, for this we'll have 11 plus again 11 plus here there's a post increment so after this statement is executed the entire statement is ex executed then only the value of L x will increment so for time in it's 11 and again x is 11 so it should come out to be 44 the value of z so let's print it out print f z is equal to percentage d comma z let's see what we are getting uh, yeah z is equal to 44 yeah, we are getting it right so and now let's print the value of x uh, we said that it would increment after the execution of this statement by 1 that is it will become 12 uh, so let's see print f x is equal to percentage d comma x yes x has become 12 so yeah uh, this example would have made you clear about the concept of post and pre increment yeah i understand it's a bit confusing but uh, once you start uh, using them yeah it's quite simple actually that's it for this lecture see you in the next one please do subscribe our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you